So welcome everyone for the next seminar on probability and the stochastic process from Imi Uspi. And uh, we have today Manuel Gonzalez Navarrete. Uh, he's a former student from Imi Uspi and uh, currently he's a professor on Universidad de Bio Bio. So welcome Manuel and thank you for accepting the invitation. Okay, thanks. Uh, well, first of all, thanks Alini for the organization of this seminar. It's a great pleasure to be here again in the IMEUSP seminar on probability. Then today I will speak about this uh, project. This is a joint project with Rodrigo Lambert from the Federal University of Oberlandia. And in particular, I will explain, uh, speak about um, a recent paper that I published that is called Multidimensional Works in, with Random Tendency. Um, today, I, I will um, explain you three different models. The first one is the motivation for the multidimensional case. And this um, introductory model was called the elephant random walk. This is a kind of non-Markovian -Mark non dynamics. Um, then I will speak about the, um, a simple modification that Rodrigo and me propose that is related to the diffusion of um, two opinions in some population. And finally, I will explain the, um, the model that is the multidimensional version of this kind of dynamic. Okay. Well, the, the first model, this non-Markovian random work, was called the elephant random work and was introduced in 2004. In this case, the, um, we have an, a discrete time a process. Each variable could be minus one or plus one. It's just a simple random walk. And of course, the position of this elephant, this walker, um, is the sum of these um, variables. Okay, this is Sn. And the idea is the or the difference with the usual um, random walk is the the selection of each step. In this case, the model was called elephant random walk because um, the the elephant has a big memory. I mean, you you need to look all the history of the process to choose the next step. In the same, in the following sense, then at time n, uh, you need to choose the next step, n plus one. And at this step, you select uniformly one of the previous instance. I mean, uh, you choose uh, a number between one and n. And then you look what uh, you did at such time. Okay, and the, the idea is you repeat such a step that you choose in, the, in, in your history with probability p or you do the opposite, the opposite in the direction that you are working uh, with probability one minus p. Then this simple model have um, one parameter, this parameter p, and we could um, express the position of the elephant by defining the following two uh, random variables. Let me denote this capital N n plus one, that is the number of steps in the direction plus one until time, time n. And um, analogously, you define this capital N minus one, the number of steps in the minus one direction, uh, both until time n. Then the position of the elephant is just the difference um, of these two quantities. Of course, uh, at this time, the, um, the sum of the variable is the, the n, the time, uh, the present time. Um, and it is possible to summarize the evolution or the dynamic of this process 
by defining the following conditional probabilities. I mean, the next step uh, depends on the number of previous steps, plus one or minus one, in the following sense, in equation three. Uh, the probability to, to go to uh, up or plus one uh, is just this um, quantities p times the proportion of steps in direction plus one uh, plus one minus p times the proportion of steps in the opposite direction okay um, this model could be um, uh, could be um, related to some kind of model that Rodrigo and me were studying in such epoch I mean 2000, um, maybe 2016, uh, sorry, 16, we um, start to study this, this uh, process that are related to such elephant random work that is a Bernoulli sequence of a uh, random variable. Then in this case, we could look at the elephant random work uh, by a similar process that in this case, we have random variables with possible values 0 and 1, Bernoulli. And the position um, could be summarized by just the quantity of a step in the plus 1 direction. And what is the idea? Because the, the relation is that both processes are similar in the sense that the conditional probability are, um, are similar. Okay, and in this case, this process uh, was a study, was characterized in several papers that Rodrigo and me were um, studied. Then we use such theory to, um, to propose a generalization that I will explain uh, after that. Just let me um, conclude this first model by um, the main result of this elephant random walk is that there, there exists a phase transition. Remember that you have one parameter that is parameter P. And there is two different behaviors. Uh, there is a critical value that's, that is 3 over 4. And if, if P is uh, smaller than this critical, the main mean square displacement uh, is a linear function on ta of time, okay? And um, this is called a diffusive behavior. In the another region, if P is larger than the critical, then you have a super diffusive regime. And this is the main feature of the, um, of the elephant random work, this kind of phase transition. This phase transition was first brought by these two authors, uh, and the idea was the relation of the elephant random work with a process that is a kind of ORM model, is a polyotype ORM. And in parallel, Coletti, Gaba, and Chut proved the similar results uh, by using some tools from a martingale approach. Okay, this martingale approach were um, after that, was were formalized by Berku in this paper in 2018. Okay, then, then the main the main characteristic of the elephant random walk is this phase transition. Well, um, with Rodrigo, we propose this uh, kind of generalization of the model. It's a different way to look to such dynamic. In particular, we suppose that there is a a population in which you have two possible opinions, A and B, and each person at each time will decide uh, to be um, A or B, okay? And the idea is um, motivated by this model, the, the model uh, in a context in something like economical behavior, and the conditional probability that defined such model is very similar to the previous one. Uh, in this equation, we have N, N, um, N and M that represent the number of uh, people uh, 
who are in the um, uh, who decide to opinion A or B respectively uh, until time n and is very similar if we uh, look to this uh, random variable uh, as the random variables that represent the number of plus one or minus one step is the same ID. Then our proposal was to introduce that we call a random trend environment. What is the idea? If you, oh, let me go back. If you look to this conditional probability, here you have some parameters plus something that depend on your pass. I mean, this is the proportion, the proportion of opinions in, for instance, opinions A. Um, but you are adding some quantity that is always positive. Then the conditional probability is some parameter plus something that depends on the history. And this history is increasing your probability. Then the idea was to introduce this kind of um, auxiliary random variable. I mean this JN. This JN is a sequence of random variable that uh, will modify the influence of your history in the conditional probability. I mean, you have some parameter A plus some parameter B times this quantity that is your history, uh, times this random variable. And this auxiliary random variable could be plus one, minus one, or zero. Then if this uh, latent sequence of random variable, um, for instance, if this, what this variable is plus one, then you have a uh, increasing in the, in the probability then it is something like you are a trend follower. The history of opinion increase your probability to be a, a or B in these two possible opinions. If this variable is minus one, you are uh, against the trend because is the conditional probability decrease. And if this variable is zero, then you are indifferent. Uh, the process at this time is independent to the past, okay? Then this is the modification that we propose to this kind of uh, dependent dynamic. We also call this property uh, as a memory lapses because sometimes you don't look to the history. You have a lapses in your memory, but some future time you will recover the dependence on the history. Okay, the main results for this model um, um, associated to the opposite opinions um, are related to the characterization of the asymptotic behavior. Then in this paper, we prove first a uh, law of large numbers. I mean, we were able to prove that the proportion of uh, opinions converge almost sure to this quantity that, of course, depends on the parameters in the model. And there is also a phase transition in a similar sense than the elephant random work. We have a functional limit theorem in the case of diffusive behavior and in critical case. Okay. First, in the region of diffusive behavior, the condition is this one, B times alpha minus beta. Alpha minus beta are the parameters related to the auxiliary sequence. Uh, this quantity less than one half, then we have this convergence. This vector, this W, is a bivariate Gaussian process, and we obtain the matrix of covariance for this process. A similar result, but with different scale. I mean, here I have a root square of n. With different scale, here we have a root square of n t log the n. Um, this is the critical region. We also have this functional limit theorem. In this case, the limit 
process is also Gaussian, it's a bivariate process. And we have the metrics of covariance, okay? The remain region, I mean the super diffusive case is harder to obtain uh, the similar result, I mean some asymptotic result. And in this case, it's possible to prove that there exists some random variable, okay, this W hat, um, for which this quantity converts almost sure, this random, this random vector actually converts almost sure to this uh, W hat. And it is possible to obtain some um, the first and second moments for this vector. This process is not, uh, well, this random vector is not a uh, Gaussian and just is possible to obtain the, um, the moment, at least the first and second moment, okay? And um, it is similar to the elephant random work in the super diffuse case for the elephant random work, it is also difficult to characterize the super diffusive behavior. Uh, Berku, one of the authors that are working on that problem, um, characterized the limit random variable and obtained the four first moments for such random variable. But usually is um, is is difficult to to obtain some result about that. Okay. Um, finally, what is the um, model that I propose to generalize this kind of dynamic? Um, it is a multidimensional version of the um, random work. Um, in, in particular, this is a generalization for a multidimensional elephant random work that Berku proposed uh, in 2019. And it is, of course, a generalization of a model that uh, Rodrigo and me characterized in a one-dimensional case, okay? And the idea, because the multidimensional elephant random work is associated to a work that is in two dimensions, in, in, sorry, in the dimension, it's a d-dimensional uh, work. But my idea was to include the possibility to have sometimes uh, the possibility to have a step that are uh, some delays i mean to 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 stay at the same position and then you could have the possibility to choose some direction to go or to stay at the same point and in this case for me is easier to look at this model um, as a opinion model I mean, the, the space here, the space of choices is, um, I call this set E. I have a K, K possible direction, okay? But if I look as a random walk, if K is even, I, I have something similar to the multidimensional elephant random walk. We have two, uh, D possible direction, D is the dimension, or sometimes if K, the, the set of choices is odd, then you have the possibility to have the delays, okay? Um, the dynamics is the following. At each time, uh, of course, I introduce this idea of the memory lapses, this auxiliary random variable, then you, you need to choose um, or you need to, to flip a coin to, to obtain for this JN, this auxiliary variable. Um, if this variable is plus one, then you look to the past, similar to the model with opinions. And if it's plus one, then you uh, include the history to you, your conditional probability. And in this case, the dynamic is the same that Berku proposed to the multidimensional elephant random work. And the idea is, 
if this auxiliary variable is one, then you choose some instant in your pass with probability p you do the same or with probability one minus p over k minus one you choose one of the other uh, possible directions with same probability or uniformly you choose uh, other direction different well, uh, to the sorry maybe a question yeah. I mean, uh, the question uh, uh, who is k there Sorry, who is the, the parameter? It's the number of um, ah, okay. possible direction. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Thanks, thanks. Okay, then uh, P is the probability to, to do the same, and another the other direction is uh, uniform. And if you flip the coin, for the auxiliary variable and if this variable is zero you don't look to the pass then you choose some direction arbitrarily this is that i call the tendency for instance i here i fix the the first direction uh, i don't know to the right then the, the this direction is shows with probability p and any other direction with same probability one minus p over k minus one then i call it a tendency the tendency you choose um, a priori with uh, arbitrarily I mean, any uh, any of the direction and the pro the probability p the parameter p is associated to this direction the other direction are equal uh, likely okay then uh, um, summarizing if auxiliary variable is one, you look to the history, then you behave uh, as the, like the multidimensional random walk, elephant random walk. And in the case, if uh, auxiliary variable is zero, you behave independent on your path. Okay, then here I have uh, the parameter theta. Theta is the probability to be minus one for this uh, auxiliary variable. Uh, the main result are very similar because it is possible to obtain a, a law of large, number, large numbers and there is a phase transition uh, also. Then the first result is this a strong law of large numbers. Uh, in this case, I am looking to the position of the work and this quantity this limit quantity uh, of course depend on the um, direction that you should uh, arbitrarily to to be the tendency okay I, I fix the first coordinate okay then this is the law of large numbers i have the phase transition the critical value is given by this quantity parameter p less than this quantity just remember that k is related to the dimension of the process and theta is related to the um, the memory lapses okay um, here i have a convergence to a d-dimensional gaussian process i obtained the matrix of covariance for this uh, process in the critical case case is similar the the scale is different but there is also a convergence to a gaussian process i also obtain in the matrix of covariance and the harder case i mean the super diffusive case here I have a result that is usual in this kind of model. Uh, it is possible to prove that there is some random vector for which almost surely your process uh, converge. Uh, well, the, the, the mean position, uh, Sn over some scale, uh, converge to this random vector. Uh, in this case, I need to look to this S hat that is the position minus the expectation of uh, this random variable. 
And for this uh, limit uh, process, for this uh, limit vector L, I have the following result. Um, and this is important because, um, well, initially the elephant random walk was called a non-Markovian process. And maybe the uh, selection of each step is in a non-Markovian sense. But the position of the elephant uh, is like a Markovian process. But uh, what I prove in this result, well, here I have the the, the covariance in in the position of the the work, and for fixed n, uh, every time the covariance matrix will depend on the initial condition. I mean, if you look here, here I have the initial uh, position and here I have the initial step. Then it depend, uh, the, the limit behavior of the process depend on the initial measure that uh, you, you put to the model. Okay? And this result uh, allow me to obtain, of course, in the limits of this quantity, the the matrix, at least the first and second moment for this random vector in the super diffusive case. Okay, then, well, an example of course the multidimensional elephant random walk is a, a possible a particular case. Uh, I need to um, put theta equal one, and the initial condition, for instance, for the elephant random walk is to uh, select the initial step uh, uniformly, okay? Then let me explain some ideas about the proof. Um, first, well, uh, I guess that the, the paper, the paper was published in the Journal of Statistical Physics. The paper, um, the referees, um, have a good opinion uh, for the paper because I try to connect both theories. I mean, uh, for the elephant run walk, first, uh, one possibility was to relate the model to this kind of polya type uh, process. And uh, another possibility was to uh, prove the result by a martingale approach. Then I use both. I try to explain uh, what are the limitations of each of them and to complement both uh, approaches. Then first, for the law of large number and for the diffu diffusive and critical case, I use the relation with the ORM model. In this case, the idea is to characterize the conditional probabilities for, the, for each step then this is the conditional probability uh, by defining this quantity that remember that this capital N is the number of a step in some direction, okay? And with this conditional probability is clear that there is a relation with a uh, model with K colors in this situation, okay? And the, the relation is the following, because the position of the uh, of the wall uh, is recovered by uh, using at each coordinate you see the difference between two colors into your own i mean just remember the original model in one dimension you obtain the position by the number of plus one step minus the number of minus one step then you use the difference and here is the same idea, uh, all the colors into the arm, uh, you do this map, I mean, each color represents some direction, and then you could obtain the position by this transformation. Then the idea is to obtain the asymptotic behavior for the arm model, and then to replicate for the um, random work. And the theory, for the ORM model is based on a paper by Janssen. In such paper, the idea is to characterize um, 
a matrix that this matrix A represents something like the mean uh, quantity of balls that you are adding at each step. Okay. Um, this this um, PC, I guess, is the, the name of this variable. Uh, this random vector KCI um, represent a dynamic that um, instead that you are you have the arm you are picking a ball and then you add some quantity of new balls in this case the quantity that you are adding at each time is a random vector okay then the idea is to obtain the expectation of such random vector related to this um, generalized polya on okay and the uh, agent decomposition for this matrix will give uh, will give us the um, the asymptotic result okay is all of these steps are based on the Johnson theory then I have the and agent values agent vectors and for these quantities uh, I have this classical results, uh, the law of large number for the ORM model is um, associated to these quantities, agent values, agent vectors. The um, uh, functional limit theorem is also um, warranted by such theory. Um, the covariance matrix in the diffusive case is this sigma one and in the critical case is this sigma 2 then the um, the task is to obtain this quantity i mean there is some uh, multiplication of vector and some uh, simple i mean simple mathematical um, tasks um the second part the sip the super diffusive behavior uh, I guess, or I, I think that is better to characterize with the martingale approach. If you use the own model, uh, it's better to the first part, the diffusive and the critical one. It's very simple, the, the Johnson theory in this situation. But for the super diffusive case, case I think that it's better to use the martingale approach. And in this situation, you need to define uh, this multidimensional martingale, and you just need to look, look at the um, difference of martingale. And of course, there is a lot of previous results that is possible to use. In particular, I need to look at the trace of this matrix. Uh, and this matrix is related to this epsilon that are the different um, e here in equation seven e epsilon is the different associated to this s hat s hat is uh, the position minus the e expectation of this position okay then if i have the condition eight i mean in the limit the trace of this metric is finite almost sure then um, the theory is warranted that the convergence is the convergence holds and i just need to look as i said to the at least the first and second moment of such random variable to try to characterize okay then here's some um, some of the steps for such um, proof. Okay, and um, finally, you need to look at this uh, series in equation uh, 12. Okay, and the idea, as I said, you need to prove that this quantity is finite. And here appears on function that this is uh, confluent hypergeometric. And in this case, in the super diffusive uh, case, is finite. Then the um, the theorem holds. Okay, let me let me tell you about some final remarks. Because uh, in the 
In this multidimensional model, I use, let me go back, I use two parameters. I mean, I use parameter, uh, where is it? I use parameter theta associated to the auxiliary uh, sequence, and I use parameter p because I I base the, the model in the um, uh, Berku formulation, in the elephant random walk formulation with this parameter p. And here I have two parameters, and p is used in both dynamic. I mean, in the dynamic, uh, when you look to the history, and in the dynamic, when you are independent on your past. OK, then the idea now, and this is a joint work with my master student. The idea is to try to generalize by introducing um, a different parameter. If I look to the one-dimensional formulation, uh, the idea is to have some probability to do the same that you choose in the past uh, with probability p, with probability q to do the opposite, and with complementary probability to stay at the same position. Okay, this is something like an elephant random work with delays in one dimension. And the idea is to use this idea, um, including a new parameters in the multidimensional case. Um, this is a master thesis that I, I am advising at the Universidad del Viu. OK, um, these are the main reference. And um, that is all. Uh, yeah, thanks. Thank you, Manuel. Anyone has any questions or comments? Well, can I have okay. a can I make a question? Yeah. So Manuel, uh, th there is something uh, missing for me. Uh, the main differences between uh, the, the, the last uh, result you present, uh, last model, and uh, Berko's paper are two, okay? Uh, the first one is that you, you can allow, that you can consider or not your past. And the second one is that you can also stay at the same, uh, at the same position. Berko's paper d d didn't allow this, or, or, or am I wrong? Yeah, yeah, no, you are right. Ah, okay, so, so ah, okay, okay. I, I think you didn't say about this, I think. Mm. Uh, I don't know, I think. <laughs> so, yes, uh -huh. there are differences, yes? Yes. Ah, okay. yes? yes, 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 okay. Yes, you allow the delays and you also have the memory lapses. So, yes, that, the that, that's the thing that you call la laziness, yes? Yes, delays yes. or laziness, yes. Okay. Okay, thanks. I have a small question. Manuel, mm -hmm. uh, in this proof of functional central limit, uh, the tightness is an issue or it's a, a kind of is how, how, how is the proof of tightness in, in the results? Yeah. In this functional limit? Yeah. Uh, do, yes, do, uh, do you work on D or on C? How, how do you do? You work on, on D, I think, maybe? D. Yeah, and D. In the end, how, how, how goes the proof of tightness? Uh, it is, it is uh, warranted by the Johnson theory. I mean, it's related to the ORM process, this uh, generalized polya type. Mm -hmm. But it, it's caused by such theory. OK, OK, thanks. Anyone that has either this question or comment? Uh, I have a question, but I'm not sure if it's uh, something that you can answer uh, right now. Mm -hmm. Since you are considering generalizing this model, have you considered something in between? Like, because as far as I understood, your auxiliary process even look at everything or look uh, anything from the past, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So, 
would be possible to consider something uh, that actually can consider any finite uh, amount of paths. Like you have some auxiliary process which behaves like a Kalikov decomposition. Mm. Yes, uh, it's a good idea. Yeah. Would be possible to consider something like that? Um, yes. It, um, I mean, to, to prove the result, I use the ORM model, then you, lo you will lose this possibility. I mean, if you only look some part of your history, then you, you couldn't relate to the ORM theory. But probably uh, with the Martingale approach, uh, could be possible to do. Because I'm not sure, but it's a possibility. The process taking values in anything, and then you have uh, mm. a, a family of probabilities, right? That actually yeah. you flip a coin, and then you, okay, if I have like a K, I will look K steps and then do everything that you, you have done. But I'm not sure yeah. if this is feasible. But, uh, since yeah, here, it, it's it's like it's something in between of uh, forgetting everything and uh, remember everything. Sure. Yeah. yeah, sure. Yes. Uh, well, with Rodrigo, we discussed some possibility, uh, this possibility some years ago, but I'm not sure. He, for sure, own processes is not possible to use. But I guess that Martingale approach could be useful. I'm yeah. not sure, I guess. Right. Can I say, uh, uh, actually, we, we, we believe that uh, when you change your memory lapse process from IID to Markov chain, we, we think that it holds, but you have to take the approach, the Martingale approach, because uh, you, you lose, the, because the, the, the big thing in this, in this uh, technique is to, to, to write your random walk as an urban process. So you have to uh, uh, algebraic. Uh, you have uh, algebraically to 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 make your theorem uh, fit in the urn uh, in the urn uh, terminology. So that's the point. Mm -hmm. So since you do this, uh, you you have Svante Johnson results. But the point is that when you change your your kind of memory, you cannot write anymore these as a neuron process as Svante Janssen terminology. That's the point. We lose everything. So you, you will need another approach, which may be the Martingale approach. But there is in the literature this, uh, this new paper by Guten Stad Miller that they mm. study elephant random walk with parts of the past. So they study, they, they take, uh, looking only to the last 10 steps, looking only to the last K steps, looking only to the first case steps they they do a very big uh, this big uh, paper so there is a big paper with many results like this but it's not uh, i think that's not exactly what you mean alini but uh, it, it it can goes in this direction maybe uh, anyone has any other question or comment so let's Turn on our microphones and thanks, Manuel. Thank you, Manuel. Thanks. Obrigado.